Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video. I actually made this video before, but I low-key rambled a little bit too much. So I'm just going to get to the point. Um, here is a program that I just really like. It's just very good. And uh, it says right here, it's FOSS. <laughs> so, um, or actually it's seen on FOSS, but I'm, actually, I don't even know. Well, actually, no, GitHub open source right here. So uh, I guess it is a FOSS program, free and open source. Yeah, it's a FOSS program. It's upscaling. And um, before, so I like to upscale images, especially to make wallpapers. I might just quickly show you guys, but I just want to get to the point. Essentially, upscaling, pretty good and uh, pretty simple to use. I was actually using another program. I genuinely, like, I'm pretty sure I have it still downloaded on my computer. I forgot its name. But this name, it's pretty easy to remember. Just literally upscale. You can find it, I think, in the Arch user repository. Let me just check real quick. No, okay. It seems to be in the AUR. Yeah, so it's in the AUR, you got the app image bin, whatever. But here I have the binary version and it literally works so simple. So you can batch upscale, that's the first thing. And before, whenever I'd like to upscale images, what I would do is I would get, I would use a website to upscale. The problem with that is that obviously like you're using someone else's computer to upscale. That's essentially what happens when you're using a website to upscale images. And, you know, obviously they're like, okay, you can only do 10, 10 images or you can only do it to this size or whatever. But honestly, if you have a computer with a graphics card that I think you just need a Vulkan graphics card, if I'm uh, correct. Yeah, it seems you only need a Vulkan compatible graphics card. So many iGPUs don't work, but try it out as they're saying right here. So literally it's as simple as finding an image that you want to upscale. So I'll just quickly choose one. Okay, here I've got, okay, here I've got one. This is like, Hungarian uh, Yula, I think that's the, the name. It's just a shepherd, essentially. <clears throat> you have a couple of different uh, models. To be honest, I think digital art and ultra sharp are my favorite, but ultra sharp is like perfect. I can't lie. This makes images pop. So I think this image is going to look insane, ultra sharp. And typically I go four, four times. And when you scale it up beyond four times, to my knowledge, all it does is it just, um all it does is it doesn't actually change the doesn't upscale it even more. I think it just changes the resolution. It scales it, but I think four times and 16 times like upscales it like a decent amount. So if we upscale it four times, literally all you have to do is just choose the image uh, output. So I guess I'll do pictures and I just upscale and just wait a couple seconds. It really doesn't take super long and we can see the before and after. So it's going to be kind of a big image, 2,300, 2,000, 3,000, pick 2,000 by 3,000, 2,500, 600, whatever. Um, and it's already done and we can see, so this is the before and this is the after. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. A lot of the details are still there. I won't lie. This one, I don't like as much. I think it became a little bit too cartoony, I guess cartoony. So I'm not sure if it's because it's too low res and it had to make uh, up for the low res, but this is just an example. I'll show you another one. Okay, here's another image. So this is an icon of Jesus with a sword because he's just like that. But um, again, all we're going to do is ultra sharp. Maybe you could do digital art because it is an icon, like it's painting. But uh, I'm just going to do uh, up, like, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do ultra sharp because it tends to get those details popping out and it makes it less like a cartoon and it's already done. And we can see pretty good, pretty good, honestly. Obviously, there's some minor artifacts. Like if we look here, let me just do, you can see like sword kind of cuts through a bit. But honestly, like, and if we look, you can see the JPEG bleeding there, which is a bit unfortunate. It's kind of hard to reduce that if the image, you know, is a JPEG. You can see some of the finer details are pretty, like, uh, they kept there still. You can see that little shadow or that, sorry, that little highlight. It's like, it's kept that little, like, texture. It's kind of made texture there where it wasn't. But I think overall, this is much better, much better. You actually have a folder of images um, that I wanted to upscale and then I upscaled. So just show you a couple good examples in my opinion. Here we got this one, this one. Here we got an, another icon. This one is of uh, St. Moses the Hungarian, one of the few Orthodox Hungarian saints that we have. And um, if I show you the, the upscaled one, it's insane. This one, really good. So if we just zoom in to the face and we zoom in here, you can see this one, I don't know, this one came out insane because we still have all like the paint artifacts. Like it doesn't look like it's just been upscaled and it's like AI, it actually looks like it's just a high resolution painting because you can see the texture there, amazing. I actually don't know how it made this one so good to be honest. Obviously again, a little bit of JPEG bleeding, you can see especially around the letters. 
it's just a bit unfortunate. It just depends on what image format the original JPEG was in, to be honest. Insane amount. It just makes everything pop. Another one that is one of my favorites, probably my favorite, is this one of the Hungarian crown. And just zoomed out, it looks just much better. Just looks, it looks just a lot clearer. It has, it minimizes that grainage, like the amount of grain there is. Obviously, if we start zooming in to certain parts, you can see the icon of Christ there is a little bit, you know, you can tell that it's been AI, like there's been a bit of AI because, because there's like a lack of detail right there. But overall, pff, way better, way better. And it's actually one of my phone wallpapers. And the thing is, on a phone, it looks really good. Like it's only when you really start zooming in, you see the artifacts, but let me just try and get it pulled up. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on my phone. And again, like, unless you're like super zooming into it as a wallpaper, it looks perfect. It genuinely looks amazing. I'll show you a couple more. This one, I love this one. It's a drawing and I don't know how, but it just takes this drawing, this low quality drawing. So it takes this low quality drawing into such a nice piece of like, like I would not be able to tell. I gen maybe the hairs here a little bit looks AI, but honestly, like at least the face, can't really tell a little bit with the eye a little bit with the eye but again very good makes the letters pop out it's amazing again all the shading there if anything it kind of creates shading where it like interprets the shading in a very nice manner where like these little pixels turn i don't know i just love it i genuinely love this one we can see the shading on the chest here like the chest armor it's very nice this other one i think my my favorite the details somehow just come out perfect honestly you can see very low res but it turns like i genuinely can't tell this is ai again like only when you start analyzing these little things you can kind of see it just the way that ai interprets some of this but it's actually amazing and again zoomed out looks perfect genuinely can't tell and it just turns like a low res image into a very high quality photo that's what it, that's what this feels like to me a very high quality photo Again, this is of St. Irene of Hungary, another Orthodox Hungarian saint. How amazing. But honestly, that's it. So if you want a free AI upscaling tool on Linux, that again, it's free. All it really depends on if you have a good enough computer. If you don't, then unfortunately, you're probably going to have to use this online website to upscale your photos. But again, I love the way this upscales it. It's free. It's easy to use. Can't really ask for much. It's FOSS as well. I didn't even realize. Like, I wasn't even worried about it being FOSS. But uh, essentially, it's free forever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.